Hey, I'm Roland, this is Phil. This is a beginner's guide to picking the perfect steaks. So let's talk about a New York strip steak. You know, we're gonna start from rear of the loin and we're gonna work our way forward to the ribeye. Yep. So the New York is a lot leaner than the ribeye. The ribeye's got some great deep marbling, heavy fat that's inside the muscle. So when you go to the grocery store, right. what you wanna look for is that they've trimmed the tail that there's not a huge chunk of fat off the front of it. If it is, tell them to trim it. Ask them to trim it because you're just paying for fat. You can't eat that part of it. I love the fat that's on this side of it. The other thing is look for the webbing of fat. It may say prime on there, but honestly, I've seen choice that has better webbing of fat and that marbling of fat in there is gonna make it more tender. When you go to grill it, it's gonna melt and that's what's gonna break that muscle down. Now, why don't we move over here to the ribeye? Okay, so to me, there's two things about the perfect ribeye. What? Number one is it's gotta be thick. Okay. okay, you cannot have a thin ribeye yeah. because it's gonna grow way uh, too yeah, fast, yeah. okay? So thick ribeye, number one. Number two is that is the money yep. muscle that's on the top. It's called the spinalis. When I go to get a ribeye, I look See, I call the lip, he calls the spinalis. I mean, who the hell ever heard of the spinalis? Okay, go ahead. So I always look for a ribeye where it is almost 50-50. That, that center muscle to the spinalis that's on the top, it's about 50-50. Mm -hmm. Also, I look for bigger chunks of fat to be okay. further outside okay. versus in the center. Yep, if there's yep. a big chunk of kernel fat in the center of it, yep. that's not gonna grill up. It's not. It's gonna be there when you go to eat it. It's not really helping. When you do get some of the thinner steaks, that's when I'll go for the bone. The bone's gonna protect it. It's gonna slow that cooking process down. Now, a lot of people think that if you have a bone in, it has more flavor. Mm -hmm. Like, I personally don't like to fight the bone and I like the boneless better, but what's your thoughts on I want to dish the flavor. I, when it comes to the, to the ribeye, having the bone in, amazing. A New York strip, bone in, always the best. Even a filet, that mm -hmm. bone's protecting bone it, in. slowing that the bone in always. Got uh, it. The tomahawks, you know, that's the guy trying to compensate for something, but they're awesome steaks. I like them. They oh. look cool, but eh, I don't know. I, it's all show. I, I'm not, yeah, it's, it's kind of a lot of show. I'm just like into the meat and having it good. Okay, so tell me your thoughts about uh, picking prime versus choice piece. There's great feed lots and right. then there's mediocre feed lots. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to, I mean, you got to know your ranchers. But the grass fed though, like that's where I'm thinking it's, it's tougher. It's got much more of a gamey taste to it. It's... No, it's harder to put fat on the animal 100% uh, grass fed. Yep. It's, there's just not that many carbohydrates in mm -hmm. it. It's not going to put the, the, the fat on it. Just like the steer we're raising for FFA right now, we're struggling trying to get fat on that steer. So. Phil's raising a steer like right here. Not only did he build this whole, like, like the set himself, in his backyard, because we are in Phil's backyard, okay? And he vacuum seals like everything that he wants to marinate, but he's also raising his own steer on it, okay? What what do you not do? Just like, why don't you just explain that to us? <laughs> well, I haven't yet mastered making my own charcoal, but that, that's uh, next. Okay. We want to help you become the very best pit boss and your own backyard cookout, okay? So make sure that you join us right here on this channel, and we will see you pit bosses later. For more barbecue content, like and share this video, and ring the bell. You'll get notifications when the new video appears. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and barbecueathome.com.